Hi guys, how you doing? So let's talk health. Let's talk health this morning quickly before I get to work. So it's a quick video, it's a short video. If you're interested, always remember to subscribe to YouTube. I am our YouTube channel, okay? It's Talks Thoughts. And we also have a wonderful growing page on Facebook too. It's the same name, Talks Thoughts. Okay? So I officially welcome you with our usual wave from here, Lagos, Nigeria. And permit me this morning to speak a little bit of Pidgin, English, and my native language, which is Yoruba. Alright? To all my viewers. And I hope you enjoy our topic this morning. Our topic this morning is we celebrating our hands. Why do we say we should celebrate our hands? We have every reason to celebrate every part of our body. Because they all have different functions at different times. But girl, have a, have a think, have a thought. You use your hand in the kitchen. You use your hand in the car to drive. You use your hand to read your Bible, your Quran. You use your hand to cook. You use your hand in the toilet to do the... You know what I mean. You use your hand to do a lot. The list is endless. If you want to hug, it's with your hand. Even you that is viewing me with your phone, you are holding it with your hand. Let's just be grateful to God for our hand. Probably we can pick another day and be grateful to God for any part of our body. Or we should be grateful to God for all the parts of our body. But today, which is a Friday, I want us to be very grateful to God for our hands. And for people that don't have hands, I love you guys. I don't know how you navigate with life without hands or people that have just one hand. But you are still getting things done. I really love you. I celebrate you. You are not left out. Yeah, you people are wonderful people. Okay? Let's appreciate them. Let's not stigmatize them because they don't have hands. Either through amputation or anything. Okay? So that being said... Oh, and I remembered something. I said I wanted to be mixing a little bit of pigeon and Yoruba. Share on no say you get one part for body. After we don't celebrate our hand, though, you get one part for our body. We blood know the rich. I know say all those people with the medical feed, feed don't quickly get them. But some people don't know. But knowledge is power. Let's just share it. Do you believe that in all your body that blood runs through? There is one particular part. That your blood doesn't get to doesn't even need your blood even that particular part your body uses, uses this um proverb to say oju oniobara which is eyes is the king of the body but do you believe that you don't need blood circulation in your cortex cortex is the um, medical term for your eyes that's the one in front of the pupil it doesn't need blood circulation, but we need to care about it, okay? We need to care about it. That's another information that I'm passing to you guys. Some people might not know, some people might know. So, but today, let's be grateful to God for our hand. It's a Friday and it's a Thanksgiving day for being grateful that you have two working hands. Alright? It's, it's enough to be grateful to God. Because if you know what your hands do every day, without, a hand, without your hands, you can't do anything. So, that being said, if you like this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button. If you can comment, comment, okay? And also share to other people to, you know, to educate them and inspire them. I love you all guys and have a wonderful Friday. Ta-da! From Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs>